Female entrepreneurs currently run more than 8.6 million businesses across the U.S., including Connecticut. And with March 8th being International Women's Day, it's the perfect time to discuss how to juggle the home life and the career life. As a certified business and life coach, our next guest says women can have it all, but they need to find the right balance. Kelly Lynn Adams is also the author of The Little Pink Book Manifesto and is here to share some tips that could transform your life. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Um, so it seems a little overwhelming at times, uh, women trying to juggle everything, their mm -hmm. job, their life, their children. And you kind of ran into the same problem which started all of this. Yes, and I wound it up in the hospital. So it was crazy because I was working 80 hours a week. I was, you know, not delegating. I was not listening to my body. And I wasn't really taking my own medicine, mm -hmm. <laughs> per se. Sure. So that's what kind of led me to, you know, live a life of non-burnout and more balance. So, How about for, for moms, whether they're at home or mm -hmm. at work, what are some tips that you have for them specifically? Yeah, really take care of yourself <laughs> because, you know, we can always, you know, even if you don't have kids or, you know, we can always kind of get in this like, oh, I'm doing everything for everyone else, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like that safety mask, like mm -hmm. on, on the airplanes, right? Yeah, they you say to take care of yourself first. Of course, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they say that. Yeah. All right, so you have a couple of... Um, pointers here, how to go from burnt out to blissed out. The yes. first one you say is become fiercely focused. Yes, so becoming fiercely focused, this does not mean to have a one-track mind. This simply means to set a specific time frame for the tasks on your to-do list so you can get more done. Mm -hmm. So I play a little game with myself and I either use a timer or a cell phone and I time what I want to get done. Now, if I get that task done quicker, I reward myself, like I eat a, pair, a piece of chocolate, um, I go on Facebook. So this is really, you know, it's really... That's a reward going on reward. Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's really just, you know, it's really going to get your schedule more productive. You're going to have yeah. more balance and, you know, clear some time in your schedule. Okay. So um, so once you kind of get a little bit more organized with, with your time, you're saying that you're going to have more opportunity to do things that you enjoy for you, specifically going on Facebook. Exactly. For Teresa, it may be cooking a pot roast. <laughs> Maybe not, right? Like that. I don't know. All right, so compartmentalize. How do we do that? Yes, yeah, so compartmentalize means, you know, we are living in this 24-hour, like, society of, like, working all the time. So we want to follow up on, you know, emails, on the weekends or evenings, but it should not be at the expense of our family and friends. Mm -hmm. So a quick tip here is set a specific time every single day that you can get your tasks done. And this is great for working moms because, you know, they have kids that have to do homework every day. So make it into like a fun exercise where you're doing work at the same time that your kids are doing homework. Mm -hmm. And this kind of, you know, alleviates, alleviates some of the pressure. So really, I always say family and friends first, job second. But isn't it okay at some point to just say enough? Like you're saying at a certain time of night, maybe just exactly. shut it off. Exactly. Shut it off. That's <laughs> yeah, right. good for vacations, too. Yeah, I mean, you really do have to kind of give yourself a break every once in a while or you'll yeah. end up in the hospital. Exactly. Right? Uh, uh, you, you call it, I believe, a success squad, is it? Yes. What's, what's a success how have, squad? How do we get one of those? Yeah. yeah, so this is great. You know, our internal critic says we can never, you know, achieve our dreams. So there's safety and sanity in numbers. So I always tell female entrepreneurs, like, start or go find a group that's going to be supportive around you. So you can actually hop right online. You know, meetup.com is a great resource. And you can find, actually in Connecticut, right here in West Hartford, there is actually a group for women entrepreneurs. And what you can do in these groups, they're really helpful for just, you know, building your network, sharing, like, what works, what doesn't work, and really a support system. How about for the fellas? What are some things that we can do to alleviate some of the pain at home for uh, our, our wives or girlfriends? Yeah, there's actually groups for men, too. So it's, you can, you know, meetup.com, I love it because there's so many different diverse groups that you can you know we were just talking yeah. about yeah, that talking actually about that the show, yeah. um, but here's a tip take the garbage out do a load of wash unload okay, me, the dishwasher it's really here. not yeah, like yeah. brain surgery and every okay. little bit helps you just have to be a good guy you have to be helpful <laughs> that's the bottom line right <laughs> yeah, exactly. you actually have but to it, get it off your butt and do something leads right into the next point here delegate give yeah. somebody some chores exactly you cannot do it all and obviously I learned the hard way so you want to delegate and whether that's hiring someone to clean your house whether that's getting an assistant you know to really help you out and a great resource is, you know, focus on the colleges because college kids love to gain experience, to learn lessons, and they get work credit. 
So, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a win-win situation. But that's hard for some women who just can't let it, let go. it go. Like, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I would have a difficult time not doing things myself. Yeah, and what I say to that is, you know, outsource things that you do feel comfortable with. You know, you don't have to outsource your whole business, mm -hmm. but it's just really to alleviate some of the time and create more time in your schedule and get more done. Mm. I, I had a situation this weekend where, it, you know when you start cleaning a room and you know, oh, I'll just clean this a little bit and then it ends up being a, a full day process. Your closet, and then everything just yeah, is in shambles. The, and then the entire house is, is totally revamped. Do you have any advice for, for those types of situations where you start on something and then next thing you know it's 9 o'clock at night and you, you know, your whole day is gone and you kind of... Not wasted a day, but... Yeah, and I would say plan ahead, right? Because you don't want to feel guilty that you're, you know, oh, I wasted a whole day doing this. So it's like plan ahead and be okay with yourself. You know, don't put so much pressure on yourself. So, you know, make little baby goals, I tell them. You know, tell you. It's like baby steps, one after the other. So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Okay. All right, yeah. and uh, are these all chapters in your book as well? Yes, there's, some of them are chapters, so it's like great. It's all in there, and it's like there's a lot more tips that you can do, so it's, it's great. Cool. And then where can we check out the book? So it's right on my website, kellylambs.com. All right, very good. Pretty easy. We'll, we'll to find check it that there. Out. Yeah, some yeah. great advice. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me.